Hey everybody, Chief here. Thanks for checking out my video. If you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button and turn on bells for notifications so you don't miss any of my videos or live streams. And while you're at it, do me a huge favor and give this video a like, it really helps me out. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Deathwing Aljun running two embers. This video was requested by one of my subscribers, so I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to be using my Battlerec account because I don't yet have the Deathwing Aljun on my personal account, but uh, I do have some MK2 Deathwing Aljuns on my Battlerec. So let's get started and first taking a look at the Deathwing Aljun. Here it is, uh, MK2 maxed out with two MK2 embers, and we'll uh, go ahead and take a look at it here. Uh, I think it looks pretty mean. This is a uh, really good robot. Um, the Aljun is strong, and uh, this uh, this new Aljun uh, really helps to demonstrate the power of the Aljun in some ways. It uh, reminds me a little bit of an alien, but uh, man, this thing looks really cool. Okay, and uh, this is a look at the pilot, Alika Renner, that is the Aljun's legendary pilot. Uh, it's one of the uh, really good legendary pilots, and I have some basic skills on there. If you really want to, you can pause the video to take a look. But uh, a quick look at the rest of my hangar. I have a Strider for uh, catching beacons. I have a Blitz, a Mender, and... Finally, the uh, tank is the Fenrir. I like to uh, run a well-rounded video when I'm on the Battle Rack account, so um, let me uh, go ahead and get into a game. Okay, so the first match of this video, we are playing Beacon Rush and dropping in on Valley. This should be a uh, pretty fun map for the Aljun. I'm going to start off with the Strider, and I'm going to uh, first try and get uh, our home beacon. And uh, looks like my team is picking up the other side. And now I'm going to just uh, press on into center. And, uh, oh, okay, they have a Loki. Let's see if I can get the uh, Loki taken care of here. Okay, he uh, phase shifted. I'm going to uh, phase shift as well. And uh, my team was able to take him out. So it looks like we are getting center beacon. So that is a great way to start this match. Uh, ooh, looks like we have somebody uh, sneaking up over there for our home beacon. So let me uh, try and get up there and uh, defend that. That is a uh, Falcon. It is not a traditionalist. So I should be able to get him taken out here with uh, even the Strider. Um, I am being attacked from the back, but uh, hopefully I can get him taken down before I die. There we go. And uh, here is a Blitz, and ooh, they are dropping in. Alright, so I lost the Strider. Let me go ahead and uh, drop in now with the uh, Aljun and try and help to uh, get that beacon back. So uh, the Aljun with the Embers uh, has 350 meter range, which is, uh, it's, it's not too bad. Um, it is a uh, constant rate of fire, so it doesn't matter if I'm at uh, 50 meters or 350. Uh, it does the same damage, and uh, it also bypasses any kind of shield, with the exception of Aegis Shield. Uh, it doesn't actually bypass it. It, uh, it does uh, take the shield down rather quickly, though. And... Uh, I am. I'm just uh, trying to uh, keep my distance away from this invader. I was able to get him taken out, so that's good. And it looks like we are getting our uh, beacon back. So let me go ahead and uh, move up in here and just uh, defend some of these other beacons. Looks like they are pushing into center. Yeah. Okay, so that guy uh, went down, and here is another one. This is a, uh, looks like a traditionalist falcon, so I'm going to uh, go ahead and use my ability so I can get uh, the three flamethrowers. Uh, man, this is uh, some serious death from above, and uh, we should be able to get him taken out here. Alright, there we go. He is down, and it looks like they are still going to try and press our uh, 
home beacon over there, but uh, I do have some teammates that are helping to defend. So I'm going to uh, use cover and then uh, try to uh, take out some of these reds because they are trying to press our right beacon now. He phase shifted and, and that one, uh, that one uh, took flight. So here we are. Should be able to uh, get the blitz down. He went down. And this uh, Ao Jun is landing in front of me, so he should go down pretty quickly too. Uh, and there he is using the phase shift. Now this uh, phase shift module, it uh, it is pretty useful, and it is bringing a whole new dimension to the game. Um, I'm not sure if I uh, really like it or not, but uh, it is here, so I am. Uh, I do have it equipped here on the Ao Jun in case I need it. Uh, sometimes uh, with an Aojun you can have a bad landing, you get stuck out in the open, and even though I am running a last stand module, uh, it's uh, kind of just a little extra insurance. And it looks like uh, the reds are already starting to mech out. That's uh, pretty quick. And should be able to... Uh, Use the phase shift there to prevent any damage since I had landed kind of in the open and should be able to get him down. There we go. So this build is uh, particularly good against uh, any robot that uses physical shields. Um, and let's see what else we have over here. I should be able to take down the Spectre really quick. And looks like a... Uh, this is an invader, so let me just uh, put some good damage on him, and I'm going to land here, but I am reloading, so there we go. And that is something that's uh, kind of good about the Ember, there's only a 5 second reload, and that's match. Wow, so it was a, a pretty quick short match, but uh, you did get to see the uh, brand new Deathwing in action, and uh, we will take a quick look here at the score. Wow, okay, I came in second, so uh, really good job to the uh, blue team here, uh, especially the guy that uh, beat me out. So here we are, dropping in on the second match of the video. This is Beacon Rush once again, and we are on Power Plant. Okay, so starting off with the Strider, I want to make sure that I get at least one, maybe two beacons here with the Strider. Uh, he's really effective on these smaller maps with a lot of cover. Um, all those dashes uh, really makes him a useful beacon runner. So let me go up here. I picked up one beacon. This one should be the second. It looks like I have a uh, set of Blitz and possibly a Loki uh, trying to press over. So just going to uh, try and keep them at bay. Uh, looks like I do have a teammate coming over. So I th let me go ahead and phase shift here and... Uh, that uh, looks like it uh, was able to uh, get that blitz to focus on a different uh, target. So let me try and get him taken out. Uh, looks like he had uh, deaf survivors, so he was able to suppress me again, but I should be able to get him. So there he goes. All right, so I'm going to press into their home beacon, and uh, there's an Ares. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to uh, get up into his shield. Now I'm going to uh, drop in with the Aljun. The uh, Deathwing Aljun should be pretty good on this map. Uh, luckily, we were able to uh, take out that Loki before he caused any havoc, and uh, so let me go ahead and just uh, take to the skies. The, uh, the Aljun is uh, definitely most potent when he is in the air. Okay, I uh, should have reloaded there, and uh, unfortunately I didn't, so I used my phase shift, but let me go ahead and drop down just to uh, avoid taking unnecessary damage. Looks like they are pressing over here into the gap, so let me uh, help my team there. And I should be able to take out uh, at least one of these guys here. Ooh. All right, luckily it was the uh, <laughs> the person with uh, quantum radar I was able to take out. So a triple kill already, so I'm making pretty quick work of the uh, red team. And let me go ahead and just use my cover here. I've got uh, my weapons reloaded. So now I'm just going to uh, try to provide some support here uh, and help defend the gap. Looks like I've got uh, red over here that's starting to move a little bit close. I uh, used quantum radar. Hopefully I can get him to his last stand. Uh, couldn't get him to his last stand before he took off. But I should be able to uh, take out this Ares here. 
All right, so Aries went down, got a rampage out of that, and the Aljuin is now landing. Get him to his uh, last stand. Uh, I'm gonna phase shift here just to prevent uh, taking any more damage, and I should be able to get him taken out now. So there we go, got a uh, godlike already. And uh, now I'm uh, reloading my weapons, and this Mercury should be getting out of his stealth here. So here he goes and no last stand so he should go down pretty quick all right there we are now uh one thing that i do wish that i had with this build uh the embers and the aljun is I, I i do kind of wish i would have used the uh lockdown ammo and that is because when you're using the embers uh you have to lead your target so much and it's just a whole lot easier to uh, deal damage using the ember when the target is stationary so uh, just something for you to consider if you decide to try out this build. And uh, let's see, it looks like, yep, that is it. So the uh, match was very quick and short, but uh, it was a very good showing for the uh, Deathwing Aljun with the Embers. A quick look at the tape here. So uh, I came in uh, first, I had uh, top kills and beacons. And excellent job to uh, everybody on the blue team for really keeping the pressure on the reds. Uh, that really helped keep the match short. And I'm sure that I uh, would have gotten lots more damage had the match actually been a little bit longer. And that's going to be it for the video, guys. I hope you uh, really enjoyed taking a look at the Deathwing Aljun in action. It's a great looking robot. And if you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that video like button. Until the next video, guys, Chief out.